And typically, Sheena, about how long is a Periscope video? Because to me, what I'm viewing is they look like they're pretty short. Most of them are pr relatively short because right now there's not, I have a feeling this is coming, but right now there's no option to fast forward or, or rewind. You can pause. If you're watching a replay, you can pause it and, and keep going again. Um, there is actually, I think it's called watchonperiscope.com. And so you can actually go on and do a search for, I wouldn't recommend logging in. I've heard it's a little buggy. But it's actually a website, and you can on that you can fast forward and rewind. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, but it's on the website. But on the app right now, Periscope itself doesn't let you fast forward or rewind. So, you know, when you're doing your broadcast, I would recommend keeping them a little shorter. I mean, there are some long, really long broadcasts out there. People will keep talking as long as their audience is communicating with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I would make sure that you get on welcome people you know give a minute or two for for your audience to log on and start and start engaging with you you know ask them how their day is ask you know where they're from but then get to the point really quickly and and wrap up relatively fast just because people can't fast forward they can't you know if they're watching the replay they can't fast forward they can't rewind you don't want to you want to waste you don't want to waste anyone's time and and their time is valuable so you want to get to the point relatively fast unless you're doing you know, I, I broadcasted some um, some stuff from Comic Con last weekend in San Diego. Some of the events, and that was kind of a different kind of broadcast. That's not me really delivering information. It's just me like sharing my world with people, right. and that's a different kind of broadcast. I think that's kind of what I've been doing too. I've been sharing mm -hmm. kind of the little places around Nashville and the music, yeah. and doesn't really have much to do with my business. But I have been thinking about how I can use it more strategically for my business. Mm -hmm. So one tip is to make sure that you check the little Twitter icon when you start. And a second, whip, uh, the, a second tip is to make sure you have an interesting title and use emoticons in the title. Do you have anything else that you want to let people know if they're brand new to the Periscope world? Because most people are. And oh, yeah. A lot of people don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I think, you know, as far as... One thing I think for marketers is we're always thinking in terms of list building yeah. and how you can use the visual content to actually move people over your list. And I think that for, for everyone, I think that's the ultimate goal is to grow your list. Um, and Periscope is no different. You can do list building on Periscope just like anything else. I think, you know, during those little live trainings, one place, a lot of people tell me, well, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. I don't have anything to talk about. But if you went back to your blog and say you have, you know, a lot of us write posts about, you know, those numbered posts, top seven ways to do this, top five ways to do that. Right. Pull two or three of those tips out of your blog post and then pin the blog that the link to the blog to the top of your Twitter account because you can actually pin tweets to the top. So pin the tweet to a tweet with the link to the top. And also just give the name of your blog when you're, you know, when you're speaking to your audience. You know, my last blog post is was the seven ways to do this. Um, you know, here are two things you can do. But for more, even more information, how you can take this even farther and get even more great information, go back to my blog. You know, I have even more information there. Yeah. When they're on your blog, you know, chances are you have, you know, I'm, I'm hoping you have a little opt-in in the side or on the top. Um, or maybe in your blog post itself, maybe you have, you know, an opt-in that's sim that's relevant to what you're writing about, and you can actually put it down in the content itself. And you give, you know, by taking people back to your website, you know, you're increasing traffic and increasing the likelihood that they're going to say, "Well, this is great information. I want to be on their list." Yeah, yeah, I think those are all really great tips. And actually, funnily enough, I started to ask Bill to take my phone and do a Periscope of me getting ready for this. <laughs> I had some tech problems. She and I had to start this over a couple of times. So now I'm going to have to go over to um, YouTube and take all of those little tiny tests off because they were about this long. But at any rate, we appreciate it. And do you have the link that you can give people? Um, yes. I really want to make sure that people go over and get your free guide about how to use Periscope. I think it's honestly one of the first guides and maybe one of the only two or three guys that I've seen that are out. Yeah. 
for sure. Yes. You need to go and, and make yourself, you know, make use of that and then try Periscope. It's really fun to do. And it's a different kind of marketing. It's new and it's kind of trendy and it's visual. And as we all know, visual is the wave of the future. So Sheena, how can people get a copy of your Periscope how-to guide? Well, there are actually two ways, which is another example of how you can use list building. <laughs> um, one is just by going to my website, SheenaWhite.com forward slash Periscope, um, Periscope dash ebook. So it's SheenaWhite.com forward slash Periscope dash ebook. Okay. <clears throat> or they could get on their cell phone and they can text Peribook, P-E-R-I-B-O-O-K, to what's the, what's the number? It's three three four four four. So you can, if you don't want to deal with, you know, going to a website, you can actually, you know, and this is something else you can do as a Periscope user. You can have some sort of program that you can text to to deliver your opt-in to have people opt-in via text. So that number, it's it's again, it's three three four four four, and all you have to do is text Perry book, Perry and book. you'll okay. you'll get it delivered right to your email. That's cool. What service are you using for the text back? Uh, lead pages, lead, lead oh, digits. Lead pages. Uh -huh. I use lead pages as well, and I've actually need I need to implement that, and I haven't been doing it. The other thing is that we will definitely put the link below the video in the blog post that we're going to be. We'll probably separate this into two blog posts, but Sheena will have it on the visualcontenthelper.com blog post as well. So okay. people can get that link and go over. Okay, well, I know your time is precious, and actually, my time, I've got to get in the kitchen. We're doing a dinner party tonight with, like, China and Silver and the whole nine yards, so I've got to get in there and start cooking. But I want to really thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. And also let people know that not only can you help them learn about Periscope, but if they need other types of social media management, and especially Facebook advertising, you really are a go-to gal, so you're a good person to know.